The top seven teething symptoms and signs your baby will show. If there is one milestone that isn't quite so fun to go through with your precious little one, most parents would say that teething is definitely the worst. Your otherwise perfectly happy baby seems to change personalities overnight as they become more irritable. It may seem like there is nothing you can do to soothe them. They are cranky, tired, and just plain upset. Most babies begin teething between four to six months, though it can happen earlier or later for some. There are seven main symptoms and signs of teething that your toddler may exhibit. The first teething symptom is excessive drooling. While it can be a bit messy and eventually you will get used to all the wet marks on your shirts, the excessive drooling that comes with teething does serve a purpose. Drool protects baby's gums from the many objects around the house that your baby will try to teethe on and put in their mouth. There are antibodies that are found in drool that helps protect your little one from all the germs that may be on all those things they put in their mouth. The best way to figure out if your baby is teething is to actually poke around in their mouth yourself. What you are feeling for is a bit of a ridge that may be found on the front or bottom of their mouth. Generally, the lower bottom front teeth are the first to come, then followed by the two top front teeth. Poke your finger a bit around to feel the ridge of their first tooth sprouting out of their gums. The next teething symptom you may see is your baby becoming fussier and crankier. Unfortunately, this does come with the territory of teething. Your once happy baby is now pretty upset at almost everything. Some ways to help soothe them is by breastfeeding them or by distracting them with a teething toy to help relieve teething symptoms. A chill baby teether can help numb their gums temporarily, giving them some teething relief. When teething, many parents will notice that their fussiness and crankiness may seem to appear more so at night, which can cause trouble sleeping. The tooth moves through the bone and through the gum into stages which can be very irritating to your little one. At night, there really isn't much distracting them. Just the pain in their gums is unfortunately the only thing they can focus on. While this is one of the hardest symptoms of teething, know that it will not last forever. Another sign of teething is teething cough. Teething cough is caused by harmless drainage of all of the excess saliva your little one is producing from teething down the back of their throat. While it may seem that your baby has an endless fountain of saliva that drools down the front of their mouth, there does seem to be a bit of saliva that drips back down. The cough is your baby trying to clear it out. There is an instinctual response that babies have when they are teething and have teething symptoms. They will have a desire to put almost anything in their mouth, not only as their way of exploring, but also as a way to relieve the pressure of their gums. When they are chewing on items, this will help their gums feel better and help their tooth break free. While we never want our child to experience pain, it is a necessary evil with teething and growing up. There's definitely a bit of discomfort when your baby is teething, and it doesn't feel good when your teeth are trying to break through your gums for the first time. Make sure you have some cold items that your baby can chew on, and something to distract them with, such as some baby teething toys. Even feeding will help get them through this painful milestone. Though there are many symptoms that correlate with teething, there are some teething symptoms that parents see that they may mistakenly believe are from teething. These are fever, vomiting, diarrhea. While you may see that these types of symptoms seem to only appear when your baby shows signs of teething, they are not necessarily teething symptoms, but could be a sign of an infection. Teething is not a fun milestone for any parent or baby to go through. There will be late nights and times where it may seem like there is nothing that will soothe your baby. There are many natural teething remedies available from Cute Keiki to use that work instantly. Remember that the teething phase won't last and with new teeth comes new and fun foods to begin trying out. Soon, they will have a full set of teeth in their mouth and you won't believe how fast it has gone. No longer a baby. They will be a full mouth of teeth toddler, letting you know exactly what they do and do not want. You'll start to miss those baby days.